This is a senior design project over the redesign and construction of a low-cost hydrodynamic tunnel. Hydrodynamic tunnels are used to visualize flow over various objects such as airfoils and scale model vehicles. Unfortunately, these tunnels can be extremely large and expensive, which makes it difficult for universities to incorporate them into their labs. A previous senior design team started the work on a smaller and low-cost tunnel for NDSU's ME department to use for research and educational purposes. Our group changed some of the previous design inefficiencies, including the diffuser, test section, holding apparatus, variable speed pumps, and piping system. The previous diffuser proved to be inefficient, so our team created multiple concepts to alter the design. After narrowing in on two concepts through a selection process, we used SOLIDWORKS to model the designs and perform ANSYS CFD analysis for proof of concept. Satisfied with the performance of one of the diffuser designs, we sent our prints to be manufactured by Crystal Distribution, where they cut, bent, and welded the diffuser design. Next, we designed a holding apparatus to hold various test fixtures in the center of the tunnel's test section. After modeling in Fusion 360, a 3D printer was used to create multiple prototypes. This led to a final design which incorporates a dovetail connection to allow for many different models to seamlessly attach to the test fixture. The previous design had no way to enter the test section, so a new opening was added to the top to allow for easy access into the tunnel. With the diffuser and test section designs complete, the construction of the water tunnel began. A series of bolts, washers, and nuts connected the inlet and the diffuser to the test section. Waterproof sealant and gaskets were then used to ensure the tunnel would not encounter any leaks during its operation. The previous team's pump was inadequate to provide the desired flow conditions through the test section, so a major upgrade had to be made. We devised a system which would run on two larger pumps that can reach higher flow speeds. The pumps will be powered by two variable frequency drives that can adjust the flow rate of the system. Due to substantial change in the pump selection, the piping system had to be completely remade. This included converging the two pumps into one larger pipe leading to the inlet. Flanges were then used on the connections of both the diffuser and the inlet to create a watertight seal. With the final design complete, we were able to perform a fill test to locate and document any leaks in the system. This concluded our work on NDSU's low-cost hydrodynamic tunnel. Due to time and budget constraints, we were not able to complete finishing touches to the project. Some future work and recommendations for the project include completing the wiring system from the VFDs to the pumps, sealing the top of the inlet section, and completing an ink injection system. Special thanks to Dr. Zhang, Dr. Susan, Rob Saylor, Will Reffling, and CDI for their help on this project.